Hi there everybody. This video is a quick build guide for the AOS 5 V5 frame. This frame is incredibly easy to put together, but I have a couple of tips and tricks that I'd like to share to make that job even smoother. Let's not waste any more time, let's dive right into it. All right, let's start this build off by looking at the camera cage. Now you've got two aluminium camera cage parts. They are both identical to each other. There's no left side or right side. They're both exactly the same. Set them up on your bench back to back like this, and then you're going to put the soft mount plate into each of the camera cages. Now this is the soft mount plate here and I've got the little chamfer for where the countersunk screw goes in on top. So we'll set those up like that. Now this is the arrangement that you're going to want to use if you're using the O3 camera. If you're using another 19 millimeter camera and you want to hard mount it, you are also going to stack on top of these plates the hard mount plates. So you might, you're going to have to decide which way round you want these to go to fit the camera that you have, but you're going to stack them on top of the soft mount plates like this, making sure that everything is symmetric back to back. Then you're going to screw these plates into the camera cage. You've got some longer M2 by 6 millimeter countersunk screws if you're doing this configuration. I'm building for the O3 system, so I'm going to take these plates away and I'm going to be securing them with these M2 by 4 millimeter screws like this. So we take these very, very short screws and we just screw the camera mount plate into the camera cage like this. Don't over tighten these because M2 screws are relatively easy to strip. So you can see how I'm holding the screwdriver so that I don't apply much torque to those screws. So I've done one side and we just do the other side exactly the same. And that's the camera cage built up. Now that we've done the camera cage, we're going to put the main body of the frame together. This is the main plate of the frame and you can see that it's got a load of press nuts installed in it. At the moment, I've got these press nuts so that they are on the top face. I'm now going to turn this plate over so the press nuts are facing down towards the bench. Once you've got that, we're then going to take our arms. All four arms for this frame are absolutely identical, so you can just put them wherever you want. They're all exactly the same. And we're going to line the arms up like this. And you can see that we're going to be screwing down into those press nuts. And finally, we have the brace plate for the frame. Again, you can see that it's got uh, countersunk chamfers on these holes. You're going to want those countersunk chamfers facing up, and that goes down on the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the long countersunk screws. We've got three lengths of countersunk screw. We've got a long one, we've got a medium length, and we've got a short countersunk screw. The long countersunk screws are going in the four corners. The medium countersunk screws are going in these two positions, and we're not using the short ones at this stage. So let's take our long screws and install them in the corners. So we pass them through the brace plate, through the arm, and down into the press nut, and then we just gently screw them in finger tight through the brace plate, through the hole in the arm, and then finger tight down into the press nut. Don't need to use any tools at this stage. We've got those arms all screwed together. Then we're going to take our two medium length countersunk screws and put them in the middle holes. There we go. Again, we can just screw those in with our fingers or you can use a driver if you want to. And once all those screws are in place, you can just do them up nice and tightly. You don't need to apply too much force, but you can just do them up reasonably tightly. The nice thing about this design is that we won't ever need to take this bottom plate apart again because we can install the stack screws straight through the brace plate. We do not need to take the arms off. Once all those screws are tight, we can turn the frame over 
And now we're going to install the standoffs. So firstly, at this stage, you could start building your electronics and your motors, and you could assemble the whole electronics of the quad like this if you wanted to. But we're just going to carry on with the frame build so you can see how it all goes together. The next thing we're going to do is the rear standoffs. So we're going to take two of our button head screws, and you might have also a couple of washers, or there might be press nuts in these holes, depending on uh, who manufactured your AOS 5. It doesn't really matter, they're both the same. What you're going to do is you're going to take the button head screw, pass it up through the frame, add a washer, and then screw the standoff down on top, just like that. Same with the other side, screw, washer, and then add the standoff. You can then add standoffs to these four screws here. So they're the ones at the end of each of the arms. And that's all our standoffs in place. And then we're going to take the two camera cage parts that we made earlier, and we're going to screw those down onto the frame as well. We want to make sure that the carbon fiber camera plate is facing inwards on both sides. So this one needs to face this way inwards. And you're going to take the button head screws, the short button head screws, the six millimeter button head screws, and use those to secure the camera cage onto this plate. That's one side done. You can see the carbon plate facing inwards. And then the other plate is going to go on the other side. Another two six millimeter screws. And the final step to installing the camera cage is to put the standoff across the top. And for that, you've got two long M2 button head screws. That's the camera cage fully assembled. Now that you have this frame assembled to this level, you can completely assemble all of the electronics into the frame, get the whole build put together. And you can also install these uh, camera dampers if you want to. So you can install them just into these little camera plates. And that's going to allow you then to soft mount your O3 camera or whatever camera you're using on the build. So they just install like that inside the camera plates. And the final stage, once your whole build is complete and you want to button everything up, you're just going to put this top plate on. The top plate, you should make sure the press nuts are facing down like that so that you can screw your GoPro mount down into those press nuts if you want to. And you're going to secure that with two M3 by 8 millimeter screws up front and then the short countersunk screws for the rest of the build. And there we have it, the whole frame is built. The only thing now is to uh, install your electronics. Remembering, of course, that you do not need to disassemble the frame to access any of these stack screws. You can put your stack screws straight into the press nuts on the other side of this plate without any difficulty at all. Don't have to take the frame apart to do this. And these stack screws are gonna be provided probably with your flight controller stack, so they can be the, the right length for those boards and you're just going to install them straight through the brace plate like this. Not going to take anything apart to do that. And there we have it. That's how you build out an AOS 5v5.